Welcome to the Digital Production Buzz at the 2015 NAB Show. Hi, this is Larry Jordan, and this interview was recorded live on the trade show floor. For more information, visit digitalproductionbuzz.com. We started with Boris Yamnitsky, who is uh, CEO of Boris FX, and they acquired, as you heard, Imagineer Systems. Well, Imagineer Systems, the face of the company, is Ross Shane, the chief marketing officer. Ross, good to have you with us. Thanks, Larry, great to be here. you. So, how does it feel to be part of a larger organization? It feels good, it feels good, <laughs> you know. Should people that have grown to know and love Mocha over all the years panic that the world is over and it's done, go to bed? No, not at all. Actually, we have a really, really great story for all the users. You know, we're still here, and we're actually, Mocha's just going to get be better and better. Now, Boris started to talk about that with the integration of Mocha into Pixel Chooser and integration into Boris FX, and he just barely got into the integration going back the other way when it was time for you to come on. Tell me what's happening from Mocha's point of view. Sure. As you know, Mocha has this planar tracking and masking tools as a standalone Which application. Which is amazing. It is Boris is not exaggerating when he says it's unbelievable and world class. It is really, really yeah, good. Yeah, it's really, really powerful technology and quite easy to use. And in this past year, it was used on many big feature films, including Birdman and Gone Girl. So it's a, it's a really great visual effects tool. Um, within Mocha Pro as well, we actually have the ability to render and to remove objects. And that's used quite a lot by visual effects artists to remove a foreground object or even by an editor who basically wanted to remove a boom that's in a shot and basically didn't remove it. So um, what's really cool is that within BCC, there's lots of really uh, impressive technology that we really appreciate and that our users have been asking for. So getting keying and image restoration tools into Mocha is really exciting for us. So what you're going to be able to do is take the best pieces of what he has and integrate it into you so that people that, that have gotten used to using Mocha can continue using Mocha. You're just adding new features faster than you could develop them, actually. Exactly. And also, you know, are really mature, great tools are very fast. Yeah. What do Mocha users need to do to take advantage of this? Have, have we got upgrades to worry about yet, or is that still in the future? That's still in the works right now, but even, even though the merger just happened, you know, with, you know three months ago, we were at NAB this year, we're showing technology, the Boris technology in uh, Mocha and vice versa, as Boris mentioned. Uh, later this year, there'll be an upgrade. Tuesday next week? No, I think a little bit longer than that. <laughs> with the, with the um, integration of Mocha with Boris, what can people start to see? In other words, people that haven't worked with Mocha, describe what it can do. Sure, like a very typical um, thing that uh, an editor needs to do, especially an editor who's working in maybe reality TV, they're asked to blur objects, right? Blur a face, blur a logo. So what they would typically, typically do is try to either hand keyframe a mask to isolate the blur. I have done that. Right. I don't like it. Or else they would run a, a point tracker on that. The issue is that you know when someone's moving around or if the, the, they get obscured by a foreground element, the tracker just wildly goes off, and then the editor or the artist, they have to go into manual keyframing. Because the points, you have to see the point for a point tracker to work. Yeah, if the, if the point is obscured, then the tracker just doesn't know what to do. So right? what's the option? The option is to use Mocha, where we, <laughs> this, we, we, where we do the planar tracking, and where it's a totally different methodology, but this allows someone to just basically draw a shape the shape tracks very fast, and then you have this isolated area. How do you deal with the fact that portions of the shape will disappear? We're tracking um, basically pixel textures, okay? Um, patterns of pixels as planes. So we actually track large, op large areas of, of the screen. Um, so if, if I'm tracking an object, say, on my body, but it gets obscured, I can actually track other pixels from different areas that are moving in the same relative direction. So you're not looking at any specific point, you're looking at sort of a geographic region. Yeah, exactly, yeah. Now, uh, there are other products that Imagineer Systems developed over time. Uh, what happens to those? Well, really, at this point, we have uh, a core family of products. We have Mocha AE, which, as you know, is licensed to Adobe and found within Adobe After Effects. That relationship is still continuing. So After Effects users still have that light version, Mocha AE. We have an upgrade to Mocha Plus, which adds more functionality. And then we have Mocha Pro. So you've, you've also licensed another piece of your technology to uh, CoreMelt. Yeah. And they're doing TrackX and SliceX. Is that in jeopardy as well? No, no, we have a great relationship with CoreMelt, and that's a great product for Final Cut users to get access into Mocha technology. 
Uh, Roger would be very glad to hear that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what do you see as the future? Where, what are trends are you watching? And this is not looking for product announcements. It's looking just at, at where are we headed? Where are we headed? What's, what, what, granted, the integration of the products is clearly number one priority, but looking farther beyond, is motion tracking at a dead end and we're just watching objects, or is there more technology that you're keeping an eye on? No, there's lots of technology. You know, there's lots of future for motion tracking. Um, certainly, one thing we're doing is trying to accelerate the, the planar tracker, and that's something that we're doing some research and development on. Um, image restoration, as Boris was talking about, is a huge area, you know. Um, everyone's shooting in very high resolutions, and actors and people who are on camera are very conscious of the hyper realness mm -hmm. and uh, so skin skin smoothing is a, a very big issue you know and using uh, algorithms to smooth skin but retain the detail and then mask using mocha tracking is a, is a very uh, important thing these days so it's a step beyond facial recognition yeah it's isolated face recognition and what happens in face rec recognition that can be difficult is when it, uh, something goes out of focus lots of motion is where a facial recognition might not be able to... Or if the head turns and one of the eyes disappears, they don't know how to recognize the face. Yeah. So we're back to tracking masses of pixels again, yeah, which it, is where it, Mocha leads. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. There's other, lots of other kind of exciting research and development that we're doing with uh, multi-plane tracking and solving. Um, multi-plane tracking? What's that mean? Um, basically tracking multiple cameras. Okay, so if you have a camera that's moving around in a, in a shot, um, there's things called witness cameras. Basically, other cameras on set, they might not even be looking at the actors, they're just looking within that space and finding resolutions that you can basically reconstruct the set based on multiple cameras. Some really interesting things that we're doing. That is some amazing stuff. For people that want more information about Mocha, where can they go on the web? It's imagineersystems.com. Even though you've been acquired, you're going to yeah. have a standalone website? Yeah, uh, really, uh, we have uh, sort of like two sister companies that are working together as one, sharing technology, but Imagine Your Systems branding and products retained. So you don't have to sell your house? No, nope, no. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> That's all one word, imagineersystems.com. Ross Shane is the chief marketing officer for Imagineer Systems. Ross, as always, it's the technology you guys make is just incredible, and I wish you and Boris the greatest success on the acquisition. Thank you so much. I really Take appreciate care. it. Thanks.